Welcome to 2020, guys. Um, Matt here from the Sideshed Podcast. And before I jump into today's episode, I just really wanted to say, I mean, I know a lot of you guys are aware, but some of you may not be aware of how bad the situation is currently in Australia in relation to bushfires. Now, literally our country is on fire. It is insane. Thousands of people have lost their homes. Thousands of animals have died. Dozens of people have died. Uh, it really is in a state of crisis. And I know a lot of you guys do want to help and a lot of you guys have already. I've actually set up a fundraiser page through the Red Cross and uh, you can go along there. I've put it together to represent all of the tradies and contractors all over the world. So I'd really love for you guys to head across to the siteshed.com. You can click on the, the link on the homepage there and you can get to the, to the page that I've created uh, for the fundraiser. Every little bit helps guys, whatever you can afford. Um, the money goes to a great cause, obviously, and we really would appreciate it. So guys, we're gonna jump into this podcast. Um, this is all about 2020 and what's to come. And we're gonna do a bit of a recap on, of course, 2019, some of the more significant parts of. Guys, enjoy this podcast. Please make sure you leave a donation. I would much, everyone would much appreciate that. And um, karma will return. <laughs> Thanks guys, enjoy the show. Today's podcast has been proudly brought to you by Trady Web Guys. Trady Web Guys work with tradespeople only on their websites and marketing solutions to help them stand out from their competition. Everything from web design through to SEO, search engine marketing, content creation, you name it guys. It is a customized solution for trade-based organizations and it's fantastic. Head across to tradywebguys.com.au forward slash apply, fill in the form and let's have a conversation. Giving tradies and contractors around the globe the tools to run a modern business. You're listening to Toolbox Talks from the Site Shed. Now here's your host, Matt Jones. Hello, Site Shedders, and welcome to 2020. Man, I can't believe it's 2020 already, but sure enough, um, we are here in the thick of it. Um, a lot of you guys are back at work already. A lot of you guys are not yet back at work, but will be soon. And so this is the time of year where, uh, typically speaking, I'll do a bit of a recap on uh, the year that was back in 2019, touching on a few of the important highlights and areas that I think would be of interest to you guys as part of our awesome community. And then um, I'll give you guys a bit of a rundown as to what's to come uh, in 2020, uh, we've got lots of cool things that are being rolled out, which I'm going to get to in a minute. So first and foremost, I hope you guys all had a lovely Christmas and a great New Year's. I hope you all are safe. Uh, if you're in Australia, I hope you uh, managed to avoid the ridiculously insane situation we've got over here at the moment with the bushfires. It's just been a bit of a disaster. Uh, however, we are on the right side of it now. So hopefully um, for you guys that have been affected I dare say the worst is behind us. Anyway, 2019, what, what an amazing year it was. Uh, I know speaking from the podcast perspective, and I'm going to run through a few figures and numbers here just to give you guys a bit of, I suppose, a bit of an overall insight as to how it all panned out last year. But um, we're up to 227 episodes, so we've got quite a lot of um, podcasts out there. We're by far and large the largest business podcast uh, for tradespeople um, on the planet. I've, well, certainly in Australia and um, pretty close around the world. So that's a pretty big achievement in terms of um, podcast episodes. Uh, big shout out as well to all of the amazing guests that we've had on the show. Certainly if it was me banging on every episode, uh, no one would want to tune into that. So I suppose the success and the longevity of the podcast is largely attributed to all of you amazing guests and all of the amazing content that you so selfless, for selflessly come on and share with our community. So thank you again. I'll run through some of the best podcasts from a statistic point of view. And of course, these change quite a lot. That's sort of the landscape of podcasting. You can find one episode one year, um, all of a sudden gets discovered the next year and then gets boosted up here. And I think that's what's happened here, actually. There's an episode of two, uh, 113, which was uh, when, the, when is the right time to expand? And that was with... Um, Al Levy and Ellen Raw, and it came from a question from um, Anthony Hunter down in uh, Victoria. Anyway, that was the that's been so far the most downloaded episode through the site shed, followed 
followed pretty closely by episode 191, which we did um, back in April of 2019 with Mr. Tommy Mello that was uh, Become a Home Service Millionaire. Fantastic episode. If you guys can get a chance to listen to that, please go check it out. And then again, back to 2017 for number three, where it was an episode we did on modular building, which um, was a lot of fun actually and very interesting. Um, huge amount of downloads, up to 140,000 um, downloads for the podcast so thank you guys for that um, thank you so much for all your comments as well and all of your reviews you guys have left if you haven't left a review please go and do that it'll take you five minutes um, there's multiple areas you can leave that now if you're listening on itunes you can leave an itunes review if you're listening on it's true if you listen to it on facebook or you watch it on facebook you can leave a facebook review you can leave a google review there's a number of places you can do that so please take five minutes if you if you've benefited from the podcast We'd much appreciate that. From a community perspective, obviously, for a lot of you guys that are in the group and many of you guys that aren't, I encourage you to get in there. Um, it is a huge community of global trade business owners. There's um, over 5,500 members in that community right now. It's a free group, I should add. Um, and the conversations in there are absolutely fantastic. And we qualify people that come into that group. Um, it's a slow growing group because typically speaking, we reject more people than we let in um, based on whether or not we think they're a right fit for the community. So um, if you're not in that, head across to Facebook and search the site shed. And there's a page and there's a group, like the page and request to join the group and, and Talia will let you in there. It's got a huge engagement rate in, in that community um, which is 80% and you'll struggle to find any groups anywhere in the world that has an engagement group. Uh, engagement rate any that good or even close to that like it's really really good some of the best conversations we've had have been in the vicinity of staff technology and then sort of business related tips which is effectively what the podcast is all about anyway um, some of the guests have brought some fantastic knowledge into the spectrum and so we're really glad to have all the experts and stuff in the in that community also that's a good point as well i mean there's so many amazing experts within that community you'll struggle anywhere in the world to be in one place with that many amazing people at your at your disposal so i thoroughly encourage you guys to get in there and check it out and again if you haven't left a review um if you're in the group head across to the page and leave us a review you need you can't leave a review on a group but you can leave a review on a page and we very much appreciate that most active members for the year so um not surprisingly um mr jason spall always comments uh he's always uh, willing to shout out which is fantastic across all platforms actually thank you very much jason for your support it really does help as someone who really understands social media, who understands the importance of commenting, liking, sharing, it uh, really does help. Um, likewise, Nathan Cooper, you did a great job this year. I know you're on a bit of a Facebook sabbatical, but um, I'm sure you'll be back. You normally do that. <laughs> so thank you as well, Nathan. So events from uh, the site shed. Now, many of you guys have been to a lot of our events. And as you know, they're not normal events. They're, they're amazing um, workshops that we run on location all over the planet. Um, we had Ski and Learn in Ferrano uh, in January or early February of 2019. That was a fantastic event. From what I'm told, I didn't actually get to that event because uh, my daughter was born the day before that I was due to fly out two months premature. So um, everyone that went had a great time. And thank you very much uh, for, to Clinton from Tradypad who who ran the um, the content side of it for me. Uh, couldn't have done that without you, mate. So much appreciated. But anyway, serendipities, I got a beautiful little girl out of it. So um, Japan's not going anywhere, but we will be back to Japan for sure. Not this year, uh, but next year, uh, perhaps next year. I'll keep you posted on that. If you guys are skiers, then, or you like the snow, these events are just, they're just unbelievable. You ask anyone that's been to them, they're just so much fun. You, I mean, we basically ski all day and then we run a business workshop in the afternoon. It's just awesome. The other event, which I did get to, thankfully, was the Surf and Loan in the Maldives. Um, that was the second surf and loan that we've run and that was again brilliant uh, for any of you guys out there that are surfers or divers or whatever or just like hanging out on boats reading books um, like my buddy Tommy from um, <laughs> down in Canberra there who a couple of years ago came along man it's just a great trip it really is like there's the waves are just mind-blowingly good <clears throat> um, so I, I encourage you guys when the next one comes along jump on that there's not going to be a surf and learn in the Maldives this year, but I'm going to get to a surf and learn that we are going to be running this year. I wasn't going to run one, but I am going to this year. 
with, with a slight twist, so it'll appeal to a lot of you Australian guys for sure. Trading Mate Pro had an awesome event called Summer Breeze. That was fantastic for you guys that came there with some amazing guest speakers, including the coach of the New Zealand Rugby League team and the, the Balmain Tigers Rugby League team, uh, Mr. Michael Maguire. I mean, that was just a fantastic event. So for you guys who were there, I'm sure you got a lot out of it. And there will be more of those coming up, guys, and they're going to start to be littered more across the country. That you can get, you can check those out actually at tradymate.com pro.com.au head across the website there and you you can learn more about the events or whenever they whenever they get on the mailing list and they'll keep you updated some of the best books that i read in 2019 the beginning of the year i listened firstly and then read uh, the barefoot investor from scott pape um that was that is an amazing book for you guys it is kind of geared a lot to australian uh talk in the sense of the banks and the superannuation so on and so forth however fundamentally that book is is amazing i thoroughly encourage anybody to go and check that out that's the barefoot investor um ask by ryan levesque is another brilliant book that is just, uh, it's a fantastic book which talks about how to qualify customers using funnels and all this kind of stuff it's brilliant um gary vaynerchuk's book crush it was fantastic i also read the follow-up book to that but i didn't think it was as good because it basically just referred back to the first one um, I do actually have a book review channel, which I have not updated in a long time. And I've read so many books and I haven't had a chance to, uh, uh, well, once I haven't had a chance, I haven't um, done any reviews on them yet, but I will get to those eventually. There's there's literally, I think a dozen of them to get done. Um, one I just finished this week, actually, One Million Followers by a guy called Brendan Kane. It's basically about um, growing your social media following it was a pretty good book um, i've got some notes coming out on that as well i'll keep you posted with those the book that i do encourage everybody to go and read is atomic habits by james clear that book is just absolutely probably one of the best books i've ever read in my life to be honest it was it was brilliant i'm going to make an effort to reread this book every year i listen to it as well which i'll uh, in an audio format which i'll get to in a minute but definitely go check out the uh, Atomic Habits. Uh, one Minute Manager by Ken Blanchard. That was a brilliant book as well. Um, quite short, that one. You can pretty much read that one in about two hours. So although it took me a lot longer because I'm a slow reader, but um, it was it was a good book as well. That's the One Minute Manager. Um, some of the best books I listen to are uh, through Audible, which is a, a, a program which you can actually listen to audio books if you're not familiar. So if you're one of those guys that would prefer to stick it in the car when you're driving to and from work like you would with a podcast then then um audiobooks are fantastic bitcoin billionaires by ben mesrich ben mesrich is one of my favorite um authors actually and um he just tells stories about things that have actually happened like amazing um stories so bitcoin billionaires is uh actually about the brothers from the fake from facebook whose name i can't remember the rowing brothers and they ended up making billions out of bitcoin they were the first ever Bitcoin billionaires. So um, it's a really interesting story. I've been really right into um, Graham Hancock at the moment as an author. Some of his books, America Before and Fingerprints of the Gods, which talk about where we came from fundamentally as a planet. I'm kind of interested in the, in the historical side of things. Uh, the Greatest Show on Earth, again, by Richard Dawkins. It talks about you know where, where we came from as people. talks about the history of the planet, so on and so forth. And again, um, Atomic Habits by James Clear, certainly worth listening to. Um, and for a lot of you guys that are wondering, why did I listen to it and why did I read it? Well, I find when I listen to business books, I don't absorb as much as I do when I am reading it physically. And I think that's because when I'm reading reading a book physically, I'm actually going through and I'm highlighting, taking notes, extracting parts, um, book earmarking pages, so on and so forth. And this is on like a physical book or an iPad or whatever. Like I've got lots of notes that I take in both. This is, this is an example of, of a book of mine. Um, this is Ask. <laughs> like I take a lot of notes and you can see there, there's a lot of highlight. Well, for you guys that are listening, you can't see it. But um, if you're watching, you'll see there's highlight all the way through this and it's all dog-eared with, with little post-it notes, so on and so forth. So um, the reason I do that, so I'll, I'll normally listen to a book if I really like it and then I'll go and read it and um, then I'll take a lot of notes on it and then I'll go and try and implement and implement the notes that I've taken. Biggest takeaways, lessons learned from 2019, creating positive habits um, that lead to success. So a lot of that came from the book Atomic Habits. Um, a lot of it I knew, but um, it's something that I've been working on a lot over the last 18 months, couple of years, is really trying to get a, a consistent framework around routine. And Atomic Habits talks a lot about that, but I found you know, little things like product, positive, positive habits, things like 
making sure that every you know Friday or whatever it is for you guys, Monday you reconcile your bank accounts, or you um, every every Monday afternoon you sit down for two hours and you strategize the business for the following for the following week or whatever it is. You know, just just getting some something can some consistency in the way you approach business fundamentals. It's made a huge difference to me. I've got a lot of books to thank for that. I've got a lot of people to thank for that. So I encourage you guys to really start to move to move in that direction. Start creating good habits. I would encourage you, the first thing to do is go and read um, Atomic Habits because um, that will certainly give you a really, really good framework for that. Regular reporting and strategy, that's just been the biggest shift in my businesses over the last few years. And I mean, like a lot of you guys, probably I was one of those um, operators that would rather stick my head in the sand and not even know what's going on when it comes to the finance of the business. But over the last few years, I've really learned to appreciate how much control you can be in uh, if you take the time to review your numbers and you take time to strategize the business. And I do that every single week. Every Monday morning, I'll reconcile the, my accounting. I'll look through the reporting. I've got reporting software set up. I go through, I look at all my reporting dashboards and all this kind of stuff. And it really helps me keep on top of things like are we on track to hit targets? Are we falling behind in any areas? Where are we? What are we lacking? Where are we dropping the ball? Where are we exceeding? Where are we excelling? What can we double down on? So on and so forth. Another big takeaway for me was how much a lot of our customers, our clients, our guests, our um, community members underestimate how interesting your story can be to other people. Now, my digital agency, Trady Web Guys, we speak a lot to um, you know our customers about creating useful content and getting your story out there because people, your customers will resonate with it. But a lot of the feedback we typically get is, well, I don't really have anything interesting to talk about. I'm just a insert trade, plumber, landscape gardener, builder, sparky, whatever. It couldn't be further from the truth, guys. And just because it seems boring to you doesn't mean that um, someone that isn't as familiar with your trade as you wouldn't be captivated by that. And if you're not sure about that or you don't believe it, then just consider for a fact that people are coming to you, to your business, they come to your website, they download one of your documents. Now, they wouldn't download it if they weren't in interested. They wouldn't reach out to you if they weren't interested in getting a quote for home renovation. Like you guys have interesting interesting things. People are interested in this stuff. So you've you got to start communicating it better. And across the board, across the globe, I see that most guys think that they're not worthy of telling their stories or they don't have anything interesting. And I'm telling you guys, you do. So get out there and do it because it will be a big shift to, you know, looking forward into, you know, 2020 projections. Um, I really see uh, it, it unfolding in a sense that guys that are proactive and and creating useful, relevant content for the benefit of their customers. They're the guys that are going to really start separating themselves from their competitors. So get out there and do it. And if you need help with it, by all means, head across to tradywebguys.com.au, um, the contact page, fill in the form. We'll gladly chat through some strategy and stuff, and we can even help you do it if you need. Having an accountability partner has been fantastic. Now, I had this years ago and it was brilliant. And then selfishly, he went and had a, my partner at the time, went and had a kid. And um, I never, um, that sort of, the wheels sort of fell off that. So I spent sort of a couple of years being accountable to myself, which as many of you know, um, is a waste of time. Having an accountability partner basically keeps you in line and it helps you focus on fundamental things. I've got a really good framework around this now. I work very close with a colleague and friend of mine, um, um, Ed. And, you know, this has been great. So we've been able to really just like stick to laser focus and, and chip away at the important things so that we're not getting tied up and, you know, um, we're not seeing, you know, the shiny object syndrome, which normally happens in the day-to-day -day running of a business. You know, it does kind of keep you focused. So I thoroughly encourage you guys to get an accountability partner. Um, if you would like to be set up with an accountability partner, you can also just jump over in the, in the Facebook community in the group there and just post it and say hey i live in canada i live in you know los angeles whatever i'm looking for an accountability partner blah 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 man there's thousands and thousands of people from all over the world in there um, i'm sure someone would be in the same situation as you so just leverage the group guys it's there for you my best achievement of the year on a personal level um, i became a father as you just heard earlier so that's been an absolute joy um, we've got a beautiful little baby girl who's creeping up to one now so um 
it's just been a wonderful journey and where my wife and I are absolutely besotted with it. <laughs> and from a business perspective, business has again doubled and it will continue to double. Uh, there's a lot of strategy behind what goes on there and yeah, we look forward to look forward to growing that and just bringing you guys loads of more content, which is bringing me now to I suppose 2020 and what's to come. Of course, the fruits of our labor, the podcast that comes out every week, um, we're very consistent with that. The community is forever growing. So five and a half thousand current members. Uh, who knows where that will be this time next year? But I'm going to guess it's somewhere in the vicinity of eight to ten thousand global business owners for trades, which is pretty cool. There's a lot of high level conversations in that group, guys, as you can imagine. So please jump in there and be a part of it. What to look forward to? Lots of content in the community, um, including for myself. I'm going to be contributing a lot more on the digital expertise side of things for um, and bringing in collaboration with other industry leaders. So we're really going to start putting some really useful content into that community. Um, things like Facebook Lives, webinars, so on and so forth. A lot more podcasts as well. I'm just going to take a lot more of a proactive step in that in, in that group now to really, um, I suppose, become like an industry leader. And um, I think a lot, of you, a lot of you guys have been asking for it. Um, we've just been so busy with all of the other stuff that's going on within the business. We haven't really had the resource, but it's kind of getting to the point now where we're, you know, we're sort of implementing enough team members where I can get in there and do that, which is fantastic. And it's all part of the all part of the journey. So you can look forward to that. Uh, there's going to be a load more podcasts. We're already backlogged into April, so that's looking pretty promising for everyone. Um, and then we've got loads and loads of really good resources and training that are be coming out to you guys. Um, I've got a couple of big announcements. So many of you guys, um, as I mentioned before, have been on some of our workshops all over the place. Uh, we've done ski workshops in New Zealand. We've done ski workshops in Japan. We've done surf workshops in um, the Maldives. Um, this year, we're going to be running some more events, both of both actually. Now, typically speaking, the the ski events are normally around January, February, and the surfing event is normally around September. However, this year, uh, we're going to be running an adventure workshop, which is going to be in New Zealand. And the reason that I'm doing an adventure workshop instead of a specific ski or snowboard workshop is because a lot of the guys out there don't ski or snowboard, but they want to come to these events. And I figure what better way to come together than in the beautiful land of New Zealand in Queenstown where they have so much amazing things that you can so many amazing things that you can do things like bungee jumping the bungee swing skydiving rafting just awesome activities like it's just such an amazing place if you guys haven't been there I cannot I cannot tell you enough how amazing um, Queenstown the Queenstown Wanaka our area is in New Zealand. It's just fantastic. Um, so there's going to be an adventure workshop there, guys. Um, and there will be skiing and snowboarding as well, but it's going to be a brilliant first-time event for us, and we're really looking forward to, um, um, to having you guys along to that. Um, of course, all of these events, guys, are tax-deductible, and they're designed in that way. So um, the reason and the way that I've built this initially was I thought, how can we make – obviously, as tradespeople, we have, you know, with localized businesses – um, it's very hard for you to justify going on business trips because you're tied to location. So how can we make that accessible for you guys? And so these workshops enable you to travel to these amazing business locations all over the planet um, and do it as a business uh, expense and, and an investment in yourself and in your company. Format normally is with the skiing and the, you know, with the skiing workshops and the surfing is, you know, we'll normally do a, we'll surf in the mornings and, and into the early afternoon and we'll ski in same and ski into the ski in the mornings in the early afternoon. Then we'll run a workshop in the afternoon for a couple of hours. Um, and then we'll do the same thing back to back for a few days. Um, and it's just a great way to um, meet some amazing people, come and network, learn really amazing stuff for your business, and um, of course, have fun. It's really about having fun. It's about also about getting away from your business, you know, and being able to step aside and get in there and um, just enjoy, uh, you know, the amazing world that we live in and all the cool things that you can do as business owners. Um, so that's a little thing from for us to you that we love to do uh it's a load of fun so there's going to be a certain adventure workshop in new zealand which will involve all of those activities i spoke about as well as skiing and snowboarding um there's going to be a surf and learn workshop um at the new wave pool actually in melbourne victoria now a lot of you guys that are in in the country here have seen or heard of this i've had a few people um ping me 
on Facebook about we should do an event down there and I've actually reached out to them, that's gonna happen. So we're just in the process now of locking in dates and time slots for that, but that's gonna be awesome. So for you guys that don't know, there's a new wave pool down in Melbourne and it's basically man-made uh, waves, but they're like perfect waves. So it's kind of similar to the, the Kelly Slater wave pool that you might've seen. Um, so that's gonna be a load of fun. Um, there's gonna be another couple of Trading Mate Pro events coming up, of course. Um, and then, then the other big announcement, guys, is um, the SciShed Academy is going to be launching on Australia Day this year, which is January 26th. And the Academy there, guys, is going to be full of amazing trainings and resources that you can get hold of, you can implement into your business and practical things as well. Also, there's going to be access to um, a lot of uh, affiliates. So obviously, the SiteShed group is very non-promotional and, and the, and the, and the um, podcast, which is by design. But you know we do have some amazing relationships with some incredible providers from all over the place. You'll be able to get hold of those affiliates through the Academy. Um, it's also a way that we can actually monetize the SiteShed for once because over the last three years, we haven't. <laughs> and um, it's time to do that. So that'll be absolutely value packed and it will be. it's not going to be a huge investment. It's just there for you guys to leverage as a business resource. And of course, it's tax deductible. So the goals for 2020, um, the we're going to be growing the site shed team. I've got to a point where, I mean, we ha we have been growing the team progressively, but we need to add a lot more people uh, into the mix in order to keep delivering on these amazing purpose uh, products and things. So that will definitely happen. Um, there is going to be a, a much greater need to generate, I suppose. A high, like a high quality of members into the group. So we want to keep that up to as, as it is because we want to keep the engagement. Uh, we also want to grow and grow the brand locally and, and grow the brand abroad. We've actually got quite a huge following here in, in, in Australia. We've got a large following in the United States. And we really want to knuck, knuckle, knuckle down, double down on um, the USA market and the Canadian market. So you can see a lot more stuff coming up for you guys. And we've got some amazing affiliates and collaborators over there as well. Um, some great guys that we just want to do a lot more work with and um, really, uh, really form a great collaboration for the benefit of you, for you all. Uh, focus points for me, I mean, if, in order for these goals to happen, I really need to work on leadership. And that's something that I've learned through a lot of the books I've been reading and um, I suppose a lot of the people in my network, that's that's certainly a um, journey, not a destination leadership. And I know a lot of you guys out there are probably in the same boat where you know in order for things to change, you really need to step it up as a leader. And um, that's certainly where I'm at at the moment. And luckily I'm in a situation where I'm surrounded by amazing leaders from all over the place. Uh, the likes of you know Travis Redding from Trading Mate Pro, Peter Cox, leadership expert, so on and so forth. All of which guys are in the community, and you can all have access to. But you know, it's really at the end of the day, it comes down to making a decision and um, stepping it up. And I'm sure a lot of you guys will relate to that. Um, you know, that saying, "If it is to be, it's up to me." That's basically the bottom line. You've got to take control, and you've got to. Um, if you're one of those people that likes to blame others. Um, then too bad because um, it's going to fall back on you. As they say, the, the fish rots from the head down. So as the leader, you know, you've really got to step it up. Strategy is going to be a huge focus for me. It is a, fact, a huge focus anyway, but um, I'm really going to be doubling down on strategy, analytics, reporting, all that kind of stuff. Um, I've just seen over the last few years the amazing impact it's had on my businesses and um, I really want to leverage that as much as I possibly can. Um, accountability, I'll be keeping my accountability partner and I'll be working towards everything that we strategize. And I'll also be making sure that a, a large, um, I have a large focus on productivity. So when I'm working, I'm working and when I'm playing, I'm playing. And I encourage you guys to take a similar approach. Um, you can even get these cool little timers here, which are um, Pomodoro timers, which of course anyone that speaks Italian knows Pomodoro means tomato, but effectively it's a timer where you can set aside blocks. So you can use your iPhone timer if you want, whatever. But basically what I'll do is I'll set 30 minutes on the timer and I'll turn all of my notifications off and I'll just work on one task for those 30 minutes. And uh, it's amazing how much work you can get through when you've got focused focused work and you know, you're really undistracted. So my challenges to you guys, um, first, of, first of all, head across to the community. And if you're not in the community, join. If you are in the community and you really want to be brave, why don't you post some of your goals publicly? 
And we know that you know by writing your goals down, you're far more likely to achieve them in the first place. But then if you can actually make these goals public and say something out loud so that other people have heard it, you're something like 80% more likely to achieve those goals, which is amazing. So anyway, do that and hopefully, um, you know, it'll keep you accountable. That's the whole idea. I encourage you to read or listen to an audio book at least if you, if you, if you can't, can't read or won't read or don't read. Um, what's that saying? The only thing sadder than someone that can't read is someone that can but doesn't. Um, read for 20 minutes a day. It's amazing the impact. Every single big business impact decision thing that's anything that's of any significance that's ever come out of from my business has come during times where I've been reading. And I really encourage you guys to do that just for 20 minutes a day. You'll be amazed at how much you can get through. I mean, even if you think just, just one chapter a day, even if you've got a book that's, you know, 12 chapters, um, you know, if you read one chapter a day, you'll get through a book in 12 days. Like that's pretty cool. Um, Just sell out to it and do it. And also encourage you guys to, train and you know get out there at least three times a week and just just do something like be active like we're so caught up in this whole work mentality sometimes we neglect our health and that's it's not the way to do it guys just get out there and do something i'm not saying you have to go and you know turn into iron man but i'm just saying go and be active and do something invest in yourself put it in your calendar control your calendar if you say i'm too busy to train then make time for it because you can't you can't put a value on your health Anyway, guys, that's all for me. Um, I'm really looking forward to hearing your goals in the group. Um, 2020 is going to be amazing. Keep an eye out for the Sideshow Academy. It's going to be awesome. Um, a big thank you to all of you for your support. Um, thank you for all of you that have left reviews or you've given us feedback over the years or you've helped with podcasts or you've put suggestions through for topics. All those kind of things really help. We appreciate it. Um, I'm going to keep investing in you guys. And I'm going to do my very best to make sure that everything that you ask for, we deliver on. And that's basically it. I look forward to seeing you in the community. Thanks very much, guys. And uh, have an amazing 2020. Thank you for listening to another episode of Toolbox Talks. If you're liking what you hear, then you can head across to the siteshed.com where you can join our community by signing up to our Toolbox Talks. Uh, You'll get sent a weekly notification which is basically a highlight of everything that we've spoken about during that week along with any other industry news that may be relevant or specific to the trades if you're enjoying the show you can head across to itunes stitcher or soundcloud where you can leave us a review Uh, that would be fantastic and all the reviews get read out in the show Uh, likewise if you have any friends or colleagues that you think would benefit from the show and the the episodes that we create then please go ahead and share it with them